Well, Australian pole vaulter Nina Kennedy agreed to share the gold medal rather than fight it out to the death at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest overnight. Now, I'm not a fan of people sharing gold medals. If I want to watch a draw, I'll watch five days of test cricket. If I want to watch people sharing first place, I'll watch Biden have an intellectual showdown with a lettuce. Kennedy was doing very well. She cleared 4.9 metres, breaking her own Australian record and looked on track to get the gold medal. Here's her record-breaking jump. 85. She's never gone this high. She has now. Oh, yes. So I'm watching that and I'm thinking, come on, Aussie, come on, she's going to win. And then when Katie Moon, the reigning Olympic American champion, matched that jump, they had a little conference. Here's the uh, vision. And they decided amongst themselves, you know what, let's not jump it out. Let's just hug it out and we'll have a gold medal each. Now, I think this is a very worrying trend in world sport, Caleb. What's the point of going to a sporting match if they're just going to agree, well, why don't we just give everybody a gold medal? And this is not the first time it's happened. At the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, the men's high jumpers decided rather than keep jumping and have an eventual winner, the uh, Italian and the guy from Qatar, they would share it between themselves. Next thing you know, you're going to have the last Saturday in September, we're going to go to the MCG and just watch Collingwood and probably the Brisbane Lions just walk <laughs> around exchanging the cup and exchanging cuddles. Well, of course, we know what happens if there's a draw in the grand final. They actually have to go and do a replay the that's next a real weekend, sport, right? Exactly. It just got, makes a mockery of the idea of a gold medal, does it? I mean, what do they go and get the angle grinder and cut the thing in half right there on mm. the spot to divide it up amongst them? Surely the idea in sport, and you, you reference test cricket, right? It's called test cricket because it is a test it's a test of your mental ability and it's a test of your physical ability mm. and over that five days people you know lose some of their mental ability and they lose some of their physical ability and that decides the outcome of the game now surely in the case here if you're high jumping for instance you keep going until someone gets too tired to make it over the pole and that's the point when you've decided the winner because someone has lost their ability to do the job isn't that how we decide when it's is for thing here was the Aussie had the edge. Not only did she just do her highest jump right. ever on an international stage at a moment it mattered most, but Moon, the American, was actually tuckered out by events the previous day, mm -hmm. so the articles tell us. So I'm like, baby, you had the edge. This was your moment. Because as you say, Caleb, it's also a, a, a test of your longevity, yeah, your stamina over the course of the tournament. Our girl could have brought home the gold. And, and the way they explain it as well, like, I looked at her and she was tired and she looked at me <laughs> and I was tired as well. So we're a bit like, do we? I'm like, what? The heck? I, thought you'd be, I thought you'd be moved by this and think, oh, it's lovely and it's so nice. Nah, not at all. I'm like, fight to the death. I looked at her and she looked at 